in a high-tech facility in the heart of the United States Air Force Base, an airman stood poised, his gaze fixed upon a virtual reality landscape. He donned a sleek headset that blurred the line between the physical and the digital. Within this immersive realm, a 3D map materialized before his eyes, pulsing with dynamic information. Algorithms, diligently churning data, alerted him to an approaching menace, a rapid moving entity resembling a cruise missile. With a firm grip on his hand controller, he issued a command. A projectile intercepted a mock missile over White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. The airman stood amidst the fusion of reality and simulation. But this was no game. It was Andoril's new lattice operation system. The toughest missions. Andoril is a company best known for providing surveillance towers and software that monitor the U.S.-Mexico border and certain U.S. bases. However, they've been retooling the software behind their technology to connect various military equipment, ranging from ground radar to fighter jets. The company has introduced a software platform called Lattice for Mission Autonomy. This platform enables different robotic assets to work together under human supervision for complex missions in any field. The goal is to offer service members a centralized location to receive and act upon information from different systems, typically connected through radio or phone communication, with the assistance of artificial intelligence. It's an operating system designed for military operations. The remarkable platform brings a new level of autonomy to unmanned systems, enhancing their capabilities and improving situational awareness. It empowers military personnel to make faster and better decisions while expanding the range of their operations. In recent years, top military officials and defense secretaries have been interested in acquiring the software expertise found in the tech industry, particularly companies aligned with Silicon Valley rather than the traditional defense sector. To further complicate matters, the military faces limitations due to manpower and budget constraints, which hinder their ability to enhance their capabilities on a larger scale. But as the manufacturer asserts, quote, Lattice is an open operating system for defense that delivers autonomy to the toughest missions. It enables operators to understand, decide, and act with machine speed, unparalleled confidence, and military-grade security. Experiments. In mid-2023, Andoril's Lattice system played a crucial role in a four-day military exercise led by the Air Force. The exercise, known as the Advanced Battle Management System, involved over 60 companies, including Amazon, and aimed to enhance military connectivity through cloud computing and wireless links. The participating companies had each been awarded contracts, with the potential value of up to $950 million. The Air Force program aimed to expedite commanders' response in challenging situations, eliminating time-consuming processes like collecting data through voice calls and computer chat. The recent exercise simulated a scenario where the United States faced a threat from Russian cruise missiles. Drones emulated the missiles, while fighter jets, robotic dogs, and drones functioning as 5G cell towers introduced complexity. Notably, a drone was successfully shot down by an experimental hypervelocity shell fired from a howitzer. Preston Dunlap, the Air Force's chief architect, highlighted the significance of improved networking, software, and innovative AI algorithms. These advancements enabled the military to respond to hostile actions within seconds instead of minutes. A matter of time. The OS's main purpose was to create a real-time, shared understanding of the environment. It had the incredible ability to gather and analyze data from thousands of sensors and sources. Doing so created a smart and comprehensive view of the situation, all on a single screen. Lattice was designed to simplify the decision-making process. It used advanced deep learning models to filter unnecessary information and present operators with only the most relevant decision points. This reduced the complexity and noise, making it easier for operators to make informed choices. One of the most impressive features of Lattice was its ability to command and control both manned and unmanned assets. 
It could operate across various domains, geographies, and even in challenging and contested environments. Most importantly, Lattice could swiftly convert decisions into actions, minimizing the time it took to act from minutes or hours to mere seconds. The creators of Lattice understood the importance of networking and communication. They built the tool with a robust mesh network that could be securely deployed even in the most contested areas. Unlike traditional models that relied on a single central point, Lattice's design eliminated the risk of a single point of failure. Lattice was designed to be highly scalable. It could handle infinite data sources, making it suitable for tactical operations. Data-driven decision-making. In the past, using old unmanned systems for missions was a difficult and risky process. It required a lot of people, took a long time, and could even be dangerous. But now, with Lattice for mission autonomy, things have changed. The military can use teams of inexpensive autonomous systems controlled by just one person. This new approach makes operations faster and more accurate because the systems can process and analyze data better than humans. As the manufacturer puts it, the OS can turn, quote, data into information, information to understanding, understanding to decisions, and decisions to actions across tactical and strategic operations. But most importantly, the system reduces the risk to human operators in dangerous and contested environments which could save lives. Lattice for Mission Autonomy understands that a mission involves more than just doing tasks. It includes assessing risks, analyzing threats, training, planning, and reviewing for future missions. This platform creates a digital space where soldiers can work with autonomous systems throughout the entire mission process. It mimics how humans interact during missions, allowing them to try new tactics, develop innovative ideas, and quickly make changes using modern software. The strength of Lattice for Mission Autonomy is its ability to understand the mission's goals. It acts as a reliable partner to human operators, autonomously performing essential tasks for mission planning and execution. These tasks include flying autonomously, identifying threats, recognizing objects, managing communication and signatures to increase safety, coordinating multiple resources, and synchronizing the delivery of effects. Lattice has an open design that allows it to integrate different platforms and equipment from various partners in the industry. This flexibility means mission solutions can quickly adapt as threats and technologies change. Nevertheless, many worry about the implications of using AI for military purposes. Know the ropes. Some experts in artificial intelligence are concerned about the increasing role of AI in critical military decisions during intense situations. They worry that this technology might lead to costly errors. However, the Air Force acknowledges these concerns and is actively working on ways to assess the performance of AI algorithms. According to Dunlap, a representative from the Air Force, human decision makers will always be involved in the process. This approach aligns with the AI ethics principles that the Pentagon recently adopted. The significance of AI ethics was evident in the protests that took place at Google. The employees were against the company's involvement in a Pentagon program aimed at developing algorithms for analyzing drone imagery. As a result, Google limited its participation in future defense projects. On the other hand, companies like Anduril, Amazon, Microsoft, and Palantir state that they have skilled engineers who are proud to contribute to national security efforts. Anduril has a strong reputation for creating and implementing integrated autonomous solutions across various areas. They have successfully automated the operations of numerous robotic systems in tactical environments worldwide. With this expertise, Anduril is well positioned to provide a reliable mission autonomy platform for the United States and its allied forces. We're thrilled to have you on board for this adventure. Show your excitement by giving us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Dark Tech for more captivating content. As you delve deeper, don't forget to explore other intriguing Dark Documentaries channels too. Stay tuned.